How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Listen, if you're watching me last year, you might remember I did a video on installing a 12 volt accessory outlet onto the sled. Now the reason I did that, I wanted to be able to use a GPS and I wanted to be able to use track maps. So track maps makes a bunch of different mapping products for ATVs and snowmobiles. Um, in my case, I wanted to get the Ontario snowmobile trail maps. All right, if you remember that video, I left off, um, we'd wired a rectifier in to the lighting circuit on the sled. We had an outlet that was powered and I kind of left it off there. So the main reason for that, my sled's a 97, my hood is mint. And to be honest, I've been afraid to drill that big honk and hole to put the outlet in. So I've been trying to come up with a solution to mount that outlet to the dashboard. So I've got a good solution to finish that install and mount something to the dashboard. And I'll show you that in a minute. So that was one reason for getting back to these videos. The other was the unit itself. So if you remember at the time, I was using an old Garmin Nuvi. It was a great excuse to haul it out of the drawer and it did work, right? So I could use the track maps products with it. I could see where the trails were. I could see where my location was and I could plot out where I was going. But there were some features that the track maps products offered that that Nuvi didn't take advantage of. It was just old technology. So I reached out to track maps. I said at the time, they're a great company. Any questions I had, they answered me right away. They were really helpful. So. I asked them about uh, GPS units and what was a good one to use with their product. And they were nice enough to actually send me this Montana 610. So um, that, that's awesome. So this is another video that I'm gonna do. We'll do an unboxing of this and talk about some of the features because this I think is a much better GPS for a snowmobile or it's made more for outdoor use. So stick around, we're gonna go ahead and finish off that outlet install in this video and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll do a series on GPS mapping for snowmobilers. All right, so there's the outlet. That's where we left off last year when we did the install. So this is powered, it works. I can plug a GPS into it. Obviously it's not ideal, um, but uh, as I said, I wanted to come up with a way to mount that. Okay, so here's the solution I came up with. So rather than come up with a bracket for that one, I just got a whole new outlet. So this I found on eBay. I'll put a link uh, in the description for this video, but I'm sure you'll. You, there's lots of different versions of these. I actually bought two, and this is the one I decided to use. So this is a marine. A 12 volt outlet so it's got a rubber seal to keep uh, moisture out i i kind of like the styling of this i think it goes well with the sled that's one of the problems with you have an older sled if you buy aftermarket accessories or if you buy you know mirrors and things like that for the new sled they just don't match the design um so you know that's another thing i'm going to do a video on i made i found some mirrors that i think match this design really well as well but yeah no i think that'll do the job and i think uh it'll look decent on the sled and rather than drilling a big hole for the outlet itself it's just two small screw holes so i think i'm going to mount it uh, about there i need to get it down flat enough so the screws are not going to hit uh, anything on that fuel gauge and it'll be back in there protected by the windshield so the first thing we're going to have to do is take this windshield off so that i can get at this area before i get to that i get a lot of comments on this windshield and i really like it too i think the yellow looks great on this sled um so the 670 originally shipped with a two-piece windshield uh, and the top was like a smoke glass color. Uh, this is a third-party product by PowerMad. It's a 12-inch Cobra windshield in yellow. Uh, it's a discontinued product, but you can find these sometimes on eBay. So on this model sled, the windshield is mounted onto the hood with a series of eight tabs that go through the hood and they're secured in the back with these rubber hood latches. You'll quite often find on a sled this old that these tend to get dried out and cracked. So you may find some of them are missing or all of them are missing. Uh, and a lot of guys will just replace these with a zip tie. That works too. So it's going to be back here kind of where these screws come out. So uh, I just got to be careful I'm not interfering with the fuel gauge, but that should be fine there. All right. So actually it came out fine. Nothing broke, nothing cracked. Um, and now that it's off, actually, I can clean around underneath it as well. Oh, my poor baby. She looks so naked. This is actually a good opportunity to clean this because normally you can't get in here and get all the dirt out of the little crevices. This is the part I've been absolutely dreading. So I did make a couple little marks there. I pretty much got this lined up with the, the edge of the hood. I'm just going to make a mark there. A mark there. All right, let's drill a hole. So I'm going to drill this really, really carefully because I can't just go out and buy another hood. So 
So that is all ready to go in. So these are marked positive and negative. So red, as always, is positive. And the other thing I did just with a grinder, I just took a little notch out of this side. I don't know if you can see that, just for the wires to clear. I mean, I could drill another hole under here and go up in with the wires, but <laughs> I had hard enough time drilling these two little holes. So like I said, I can't just go and buy another hood. I'm really obviously paranoid about cracking this, so I'm just going to use a screwdriver and do this by hand. Really careful not to over tighten this. Okay, so those screws are coming back here. So they're actually, even if I'm working back here, I'm probably not going to hit them at all because of that block of foam. All right, so there it is. It's mounted. It's solid. It's got a weather cover. So when I'm not using it, I'm not getting snow in it. And um, I'll put the windshield back on in a minute, but it's really well covered and out of the weather by the windshield as well. So I think that's going to do. All right, there you go. So that is my install finish. It's... Uh, you know, in some ways it's not 100% ideal, it's a little bit messy, but um, uh, I'm going to come up with some kind of a clip to keep those wires back out of the way, but it's not obscuring my gauges. I can reach it fairly easily if I want to uh, unplug that and plug my cell phone in. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, so if you're thinking about doing an install like this on your older snowmobile, if you want to be able to use track maps, you want to be able to run a GPS, um, watch my original videos on, on the uh, the GPS. I'll put a link to those videos in the description for this one. But just as a, a quick recap, just remember that you're going to need... Um, if you have an older sled that doesn't have an electric start, then you don't have a DC circuit, so you're going to need to get a rectifier to convert AC to DC. The one that I talked about in that video from Gilliman Innovations is no longer available. So you're probably going to have to buy the outlet and the rectifier separately, but just Google snowmobile rectifier. I'm sure you're going to find uh, products out there. Um, you know, and again, the only reason I went with this kind of external marine um, outlet was so that I can screw it on to my cowling instead of, instead of drilling a big honking hole in it. Um, so I think that's about it. And then it just wires into your lighting circuit and that's pretty straightforward. So make sure you watch those videos. All right, guys, so that's it for the install portion of the GPS series. We have our 12 volt accessory in. Our next step is to go ahead and upgrade this Garmin Nuvi. Again, that uh, Montana, and so the next video we'll do, I'll, I'll do an unboxing of that Montana and talk about some of the features. But that's going to let us really get more out of the Track Maps product. You know what? If you haven't got the money right now for, for a Montana, then this uh, setup is inexpensive. You can pick up these old Garmin Nuvis on eBay, eBay really cheap. All right, now while you're waiting for my next video, if you want to learn more about track maps, head over to their website. I'm going to put a link in the description for this video. And when you're done with that, head over to my Facebook page. I'll put that link down there as well. If you haven't been to my Facebook page, it's a great way of getting in touch with me. But the other reason that you want to keep an eye on that page is that I'm going to start doing some giveaways for my subscribers. So I'll do some giveaways on the channel itself, but my first one is going to be exclusively on the Facebook page and only for my subscribers. So keep an eye out there in the next week or so, and you'll get a chance to win a free copy of track map. All right, guys, that's it for me for this video. I hope you found it useful, enjoyable, entertaining, educational. If you did, take a second and mash the like button for me. And if you haven't already, just a reminder to subscribe to the channel. Take a second and click that bell icon. You'll get notified when I post a new video. All right, that's it. It is starting to snow. I think I'm going to go do some more riding before dinner. Until next time, I'm David Clark, and thanks for taking the time to watch. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the hood off so I can get a uh, nice clear. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the uh, windshield off. So it should be far enough back. I'm not interfering with the uh, uh, 
um, fuel gauge. It just helps me rank a little bit higher in the search engine. <clears throat> so actually we've had a lot of snow, so we're gonna get out and do some. What are you doing? <laughs> 